On-the-scene coverage of ACC14 is supported by Janssen Pharmaceuticals, Incorporated. I'm Peter Block for On the Scene here at the ACC annual meeting in Washington, D.C., and with me is P.J. Devereaux. P.J., you have just talked about the POISE trial. Yes. Aspirin before surgery. Tell me what the trial is about. So the trial is a 10,000 patient randomized control trial of patients randomized to aspirin or placebo. We already know that aspirin in the parapet setting prevents venous thromboembolism. We wanted to know, does it prevent arterial events? Roughly half the patients have been on chronic aspirin. They had to stop their aspirin 72 hours before surgery, randomized to get aspirin or placebo during the perioperative period, and patient, half the patients were patients naive to aspirin, randomized to start aspirin or placebo on the day of surgery. So this is actually a very practical trial, isn't it? We have a ton of patients who are on aspirin or are not on aspirin, and the question is, can we keep them from getting into trouble? So what'd you find? So what we found was is that aspirin did not prevent the primary composite endpoint, which was total mortality and myocardial infarction. And then separately, it did not prevent myocardial infarction. However, what we did demonstrate was it did increase the risk of very significant bleeding by about 25%. So the trade-off ends up being that you're getting bleeding, but you're not preventing the vascular events in this setting. So that's actually a sort of an interesting outcome, isn't it, PJ? Because is it the bleeding that sets off the myocardial infarction, or what do you think is going on yeah. mechanistically here? So mechanistically, we did um, analyses which showed that the bleeding that happened preceded myocardial infarction. So we think potentially on balance, we may have been preventing some myocardial infarctions, but because in this setting, bleeding is so much more common, and some of that bleeding led to myocardial infarctions, we get a neutral effect as opposed to the non opera setting where you don't have them remotely the risk of bleeding, overall you get more benefit and you'll prevent more myocardial infarctions. Okay, so it, it seems to me that it seems reasonable then to stop the aspirin, but is it really true that some patients don't benefit? I may be pushing you a little bit on this Sure. One. Well, I think one thing to keep in mind is that we excluded patients who had had a bare metal stent in the last six weeks before surgery or a drug stent in the last year. So we're not informing those patients. But if you then just take the broader population of patients that we're seeing having surgery, in those patients, continuing aspirin, if you're going to use an anticoagulant for VT prophylaxis, does not look like a good idea. You're going to get risk with no benefit. And also, if you have a patient who has vascular risk but not on aspirin and you're asking yourself the question, should I start it? Once again, it does look like in this setting, starting it, you're going to get risk, you're not going to get benefits. So it doesn't look like a great strategy. So I okay. think in the short term, we can help people by stopping aspirin and not starting it in the perioperative setting. All right. So here I am, and I'm your patient, and I'm going to have my gallbladder removed. Hopefully not. But I take half an aspirin every day, and you're my doc, and you're my surgeon. What are you going to tell me? So now, based upon the POISE-2 results, I'll tell you that you should stop your aspirin at least 72 hours before surgery, and then based on our data, we'll look at starting it about 8 to 10 days after surgery. And if I have a stent that was put in three weeks ago? In that patient population, based upon the observational data, probably the best strategy is to continue it, but obviously we need an RCT to really directly inform that question. So we haven't answered that one yet, but for if you don't have a stent, stop the aspirin. Correct. Thank you very much, PJ. Thank you.